here with another book unboxing. Anyway, yeah, let's get it open. It's like one of the easiest packages. Voila. Talon by Jaden Gelso. The reason I got this is because I saw it on Instagram and he was talking about a Christian that writes a dystopian book series that's clean. And I was like, that is right up my alley. Hello, my best friend. He probably would be friends with me. <laughs> then again, I say that about everyone. But this is Talon by Jaden Gelso. Let me read the back for you. Could you survive as a fugitive in a world where tyranny rules, not even knowing why they're hunting you? May 2492. It's been years since democracy died. America is no more, each state broken up into their own separate countries, ruled mostly by cruelty and oppression. New York City is at the summit, having crushed those who opposed them, destroyed those who resisted. 15-year-old Talon lives alone in the sector known as Drudgeon, just another place in what it used to be the Bronx. He wants to keep it that way. Any family he's ever had, it's all led to grief, tragedy, torment. He can't let it happen again. But his reclusive life is shattered when the tyrannical governor of New York sends his most dangerous assassin to kill Talon for unknown reasons. Just when it all seems lost, he is rescued by two kids his age, Castor and Amber, who live on an aircraft dubbed the Independence. They explain that they believe the reason behind this attempted assassination might have ties to his lineage that his parents could have been a part of something dangerous to the government, something bigger than themselves. They set out to crack the clues to discover what his parents were involved in, what they might have kept secret from Talon all along. But when they finally solve the mystery, he knows they can't stay silent. He knows they must continue what his parents started, even if it means death. But when Talon discovers newfound care for Castor and Amber, when he realizes he's forming a bond, he understands he has to make a choice, risk losing them or overcome his fear of loss. This is 277 pages. It's a rather short book and I enjoy the simplicity of the front, the side, and the back. It's eye-catching and I'm excited to read it. If this sounds like something you're interested in, the link and description are in the description. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.